Close to Maya. Yes, We're back honey. again. You know, this is our third time here, and I don't know what it is about us and weather. I don't know if you can see this. It's even getting water and rain on my camera. What do you think, honey? I hope it gets sunny. I don't know about getting a really good snorkel trip in, but we're going to head to the beach. Uh, what beach is it called? What's it, what's it called? Mahahul. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. it. Starts with an M, ends with an L. We will hopefully have that a uh, little better for you in just a little bit, but we're going to certainly try to enjoy ourselves heading to the beach. And, you know, like we did last time, if we can't snorkel, maybe we will just get a massage and make the best of it. See you guys in a second. Three hours of sleep and pouring the rain. Sha sha. It's a beauty we got the region three miles. Then we can extend that one before in the radiance here. Another one come in. Looks like possibly icon or something else. <sighs> There's our weather, guys. Still see we've got some blue water. It looks pretty clear. I'm wearing cashmere and it's cold. It's awesome. But it is cold. Logan, you cold? <laughs> See, right there, I think, would be good snorkeling. On that little beach right there, like right out there where those waves are crashing in. I think all that's pretty decent reef. We just never see anybody in it. No, it's weird. The great thing about the taxi ride is it only costs $4 per person. You don't have to negotiate that, so it's actually a pretty easy ride over there to Mahahuel Beach. However, at that port right outside of there, they will hit you up for trying to get you to pay $10 to $35 per person so you get drinks and food and, and your chairs and all this other stuff. Well, if you just go to where I'm going, which is Big Mama's, you, they basically give you all that for free. The only thing, if you want to order food, you can, but you can sit on their beach chairs, use their facilities, and everything's taken care of. And I'll meet, introduce you to Jose here at the end. Inside the bay was a very easy snorkel. It was beautiful, even though it was uh, not a lot to see, but it was really pretty. As you can see, we found a couple lionfish in there, and swimming over some of these little walls of uh, conch grass was kind of neat. Um, very pretty snorkel and very easy. If you don't have booties, I wouldn't walk through the stuff, sea urchins, stuff like that. Still kind of fun to explore new areas, and we're just going to see what's on the other side here. I'm almost deep enough to swim, but I would just have to float out there, so that would be kind of rough as well. 
So it's getting a little more rocky instead of being just taunt grass. And I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off and get swimming out there. I only had nine minutes of snorkeling out here outside the reef because we didn't have a lot of time. I actually was supposed to be back on the boat at 1.15 and of course I did have to get my hour massage in for $25. But as you can see, it doesn't take much to find those fish in this area. It was a beautiful spot to snorkel. This was definitely more of an advanced snorkel out here strictly because of the waves, the swells, and how much it does move you. You can see even on the fan coral and the corals just moving back and forth. And so if you're not used to that, it might throw you off a little bit. It was much calmer in the bay. And if you're just a beginner snorkeler, I would recommend to stay there. I wanted to film this spot because I wanted to show you how to come back in on the reef because it is a little dangerous if you get lost and also um, if you go back in on the wrong spot. Now you notice I'm filming over here to show you where the corals are really shallow and you'll see the waves breaking over those. So you kind of want to find a spot in between the corals, get to a spot where you can safely stand with not on coral but just you know kind of where people have walked in and out and then kind of ease your way back up in there. Definitely wear booties to do this though because it's the safest way to do it. Once you do stand up, you want to time your swells. As you can see here, I'm sitting there counting the swells as they come in. Typically you get three in a row and that's what you're looking for. And then once you get to the third one, then you can start walking in and they won't start crashing over you. So if you have some big swells when you're coming in, just make sure and stand there where it's a little shallower, where it's not breaking yet, and wait for the three and then walk in after that. This is a map of where the boat channel is and it's really easy to swim across there without you looking you know looking both ways. They're used to people swimming across that boat channel, so not very dangerous, but I do still recommend to have a dive buoy if you have one, maybe just an air up one so they know you're there. But once you, we swam across there, we went right here. We swam out from Big Mama's, we went to number one, then to explore number two area and then three. And all of that area was very pretty. We saw a bunch of mullet and some bigger fish as well. Didn't get those on camera. Um, but also the couple lionfish we saw right there in number three. So then I walked straight across there, as you can see with the arrow. And I only got to explore, like I said, for a very short period of time, four, five, and six. I would love to get back here and explore a little bit more because it was gorgeous snorkeling. And I think I could find a lot of sea life in there. But that it was only nine minutes of snorkeling out there. The boat channel out there is a lot further out, so you don't really have to worry about the boat channel out there. All right, guys, so I'm here with Jose. 
and it's what is it? Restaurante Big Mama. Big Mama. Now this is actually where you want to go snorkeling too. Look at this right back here. See how pretty that is? You swim right past that reef like I did. I'm gonna show you where that's at. But Jose, tell them what you get here. And Big Mama restaurant, we give you the free facilities. You don't have to pay anything. The lounges, hooks, umbrella, Wi-Fi, bathroom, kayaks, hooks. So okay. don't pay for them. You don't pay for it. Just come we straight to Big Mama. Come in, we we'll ask for Jose. We take care of you. The only thing you have to pay for it is your drink and food. And then, then we got some good massage, $25. Massage is $25 on the beach. Now, today wasn't the best day for it, as you can see. But when it's sunny, it's the best, the best massage beach. you're going to get. So come see Jose. All right. Don't forget when you come back in the taxi, tell her we're looking for Jose. So we can take you the from right Big person. Mamas. That's and right. Big Mamas. And he's from Tennessee. Morrison. <laughs> All right. See you guys. Guys, what do we think of the rain? I love the rain! Woo! <laughs> Just gotta make the best of it at this point, right? Cam, you look great. I know. Crazy luck. And my phone is wet. <laughs> it's got rain on it. And we're back. This is life on a cruise ship, guys. You just can never tell what the weather's gonna be like. Look at the size difference between the wonder and the radius of the sea. There's our boat over here, seashore. <laughs> 